Monster Hunter World has a great variety of different armor sets, and many of them are incredibly looking. Unfortunately, however, not all of them can be layered armor sets, which allow you to wear those armor sets on top of your gear without affecting your stats. As much as I would like every single armor set in the game to be available as a layered armor set, there are still some amazing ones to collect, and in this video I will be showing you guys how you can obtain every single layered armor set in Monster Hunter World. Hello Hunters, my name is Dark Hero. welcome back to my channel where we cover Monster Hunter content. I am so glad you are here and- Ok, so the very first layered armor set we're going to talk about is the Brigade layered armor set. You unlock the Brigade layered armor set by completing the Lunastra questline. The questline consists of three different special assignments, the Blazing Sun, Pandora's Arena, and No Remorse, No Surrender. Once you complete all three of those special assignments, you will receive the Temporal Mantle, and if you go to the Smithy, you will be able to complete the delivery to get the Brigade Layered Armor Set. However, in order to get the Brigade Layered Armor Set, you will also need Hunter King Coins. And in order to get Hunter King Coins, you need to complete the Arena Quest 5, 6 and 7. For the Bushi Homare and Bushi Sabi layered armor sets, you need to get Bushido tickets from completing the Kulf Taroth Siege. These are a guaranteed reward, so it shouldn't take a lot of trouble to get them. For the Butterfly layered armor set, you need to get Summer Insect Field Guides, which you can get by completing the event quest called Gajalaka Outbreak. For the Shadow Shades, you will need Black Crystals, which you can get from the event quest called A Flash in the Pan, and you will also need two Summer Festival tickets. For the Mosswine Mask, you will need the Foe ticket, which you can get by completing the event quest called A Royal Pain. And by also using the Foe ticket from the Royal Pain event quest, you will be able to get the Foe Feline Mask. For the Almighty Wiggler Head, you will need the Foe ticket too, which you can get from the event quest called King's No No Fear. And you will also need two Wiggler tickets, which you can get from the event quest called Wiggle Me This. And for the sealed eye patch, you will also need foe tickets too from the event quest called King's No No Fear, and you will need two black bandages from the event quest called Scrapping with the Shamos. For the skull mask, you will need foe ticket 3, which you can get from the event quest called The Greatest Jagras, and for the Kulu Yaku head, you will also need the Foe Ticket 3, which once again, you get from the Greatest Jaguars, and you will also need Kuluyaku Tickets from the event quest called Egg Lovers United. For the Beetle Layered Armor Set, you will need 3 Beetle Tickets, which you can get from the event quest called The Names Lavasioth, and you will also need some Great Horned Fly, which you can collect from the Botanical Research Center. For the Samurai Layered Armor Set, you'll need to have the Deluxe Edition of Monster Hunter World, or simply purchase this add-on on the PlayStation Store, Xbox Store or Steam. It only costs about 5 euros and it often goes on sale, and it's the only layered set that you can purchase with real money. Now let's go over layered sets that are specific for collaborations. In order to get the Bayek Layered Set, you'll need two Senru's Feathers, which you can get from the event quest called SDF, Silent, Deadly and Fierce. In order to get Geralt's layered armor set, you will need one Mutagen from completing the event quest called Contract Woodland Spirit, which is where you fight against the Ancient Leshen. Do note that this quest requires you to be Hunter rank 50 or higher. And in order to get series layered armor set, you will also need one Mutagen that you get once again, from the event quest called Contract Woodland Spirit. If you want to get the Draken layered armor set, you will need one Glamour Prism, which you can get from the event quest called A Visitor from Eorzea Extreme, which is where you fight against the Extreme Behemoth, and do note that this quest also requires you to be Hunter rank 50 or higher. For the Aloy layered armor set, you will need 3 Aloy tickets, which you can get from completing the event quest called The Heart of the Nora. Do note that this event quest requires you to be Hunter rank 50 or higher, and you will also need 2 Nora Brave trophies, 
which you can get by completing the event quest called The Proven. Now let's go over the layered armor sets that you can get by defeating Arc Tempered Monsters. Do note that all Arc Tempered Monsters are locked behind event quests that require you to be Hunter Rank 50 or higher, and these are some of the most difficult quests in the game. For the Blossom Layered set you will need 7 Kirin tickets, which you get by defeating Arc Tempered Kirin in the event quest called A Whisper of White Mane. For the Death Stench Layered set, you will need 7 Valhazak tickets, which you can get by defeating Arc Tempered Valhazak in the event quest called The Deathly Quiet Curtain. For the Dante Layered set, you will need 7 Teostra tickets, which you get by defeating Arc Tempered Teostra in the event quest called The Scorn of the Sun. For the Guild Cross Layered Armor set, you will need 7 Kushaladora tickets which you get by defeating Arc Tempered Kushala Daora in the event quest called The Eye of the Storm. You will also need some Ace Hunter coins in order to get the Guild Cross layered set and you can get these Ace Hunter coins in the Arena Quest 8 and Arena Quest 9. For the Sakura layered set you will need 7 Lunastra tickets which you can get by defeating Arc Tempered Lunastra in the event quest called when Blue Dust surpasses Red Lust. You will also need Street Fighter V ticket number 2, which you can get by completing the challenge quest Empress in Full Bloom. Do note that whichever version of the challenge quest you complete is going to reward you with the same amount of tickets. If you want to get the Origin layered set, you will need 8 Zora Magdaros tickets which you get by defeating Arc Tempered Zora Magdaros in the event quest called Undying Alpenglow. For the commission layered set, you will need 7 Xenojiva tickets, which you can get by defeating Arc Tempered Xenojiva in the event quest called Like a Moth to a Flame. And for the Ryu layered set, you will need 7 Nergigante tickets, which you can get by defeating Arc Tempered Nergigante in the event quest called the Heralds of Destruction Cry. You will also need some Street Fighter V tickets number 3, which you can get in the challenge quest called Satsui no Hado. Do note that whichever version of the challenge quest you complete is going to reward you with the same amount of tickets. And now let's go over the layered sets that you can only get as festival rewards. For the Harvest layered set, you will need Autumn Harvest Festival tickets. For the Diver layered set, you will need Summer Twilight Festival tickets. For the Orion layered set, you will need Winter Star Festival tickets. And for the Gala layered set, you will need Appreciation Festival tickets. And those are all of the layered sets that are available in Monster Hunter World for you to get. Right now is the perfect time to get all of them since we have all of these festivals going on and all of the event quests and challenge quests are available at this moment. Again I hope that in the future we are going to get many more layered sets and I also hope that some of the regular armor sets that we use can also have some sort of transmogrification system that allows us to turn them into layered sets. But for now this is all we have, let me know which armor sets you would like to see converted into layered sets and also which layered sets are your favorite that are currently available in Monster Hunter World. And hey, if you found this video helpful then please leave it a like as it helps me out a lot and share it with your friends because, again, this is the perfect opportunity to get all layered sets that are available in the game. If you enjoyed this video then please drop a like on it as it helps me out a lot, subscribe if you are new to the channel and turn on channel notifications if you don't want to miss an ounce of Monster Hunter goodness. And as always a big thank you goes out to my patrons for choosing to support me and helping me do what I love. Especially John Cohen for being a mighty hero. If you would like to support me the link to my patreon is down below in the description but with that being said. Thank you all so much for watching, my name is Dark Hero and happy hunting!